What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another short video. Today I'm going to show you guys the top four best easy outfits to make for your male character. So the only, I guess you guys can say quote unquote hard part is to get the black joggers, but they're not really that hard to get. It's just that you can't get these at the clothing store, but the outfits you don't see with the black joggers are outfits you can just get at the clothing store or mass store. So the two outfits you just, that you do see in the thumbnail without the black joggers are probably the easier ones uh, that you guys can get without the black joggers. But first, for the first part of this outfit, I'm gonna, or for the first part of this video, I'm gonna show you guys on how to get the black joggers. So this is a pretty simple part that a lot of people already know. So for this, you're gonna wanna go ahead and call in your MOC. So to call in your MOC, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to this, uh, after you pulled up your interaction menu, scroll down to services, click on services, scroll down to mobile operation center and click on mobile operation center and just request your MOC. After you do request your MOC, go ahead and hit pause, wait for it to spawn on the map, but since I am here, it'll probably spawn right here. After your MOC does spawn in on the map, you're going to want to go ahead and go into the back of your trailer inside your MOC, and I will just get back to you whenever I do get to my MOC. After you do get inside your MOC, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the jobs inside your MOC. So it's going to say access mobile operations. After you are here, go ahead and hit right on the D-pad, log in, and scroll down to the bottom. And we're going to be using the work dispute so we can get the black jogger. So just go ahead and launch this job. And after you do launch this job, you guys will need a friend to help you out. And after you guys have a friend loaded in that can help you out, you can just go ahead and start the job. And for the difficulty, make sure you do set it to easy so then you guys do have more lives. But I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into the job. Once you load into the job, if you guys are the first player, which is the host, you guys will begin the black joggers. But if you're the second player, you're gonna be getting the red joggers. Whenever you guys fully load in, just go ahead and head to your apartment. When you do get to your apartment, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new to this, you guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you will have to remember where your apartment is at. So whenever you are at your apartment, go ahead and walk up to the blue circle, and you're going to want to go ahead and blow yourself up. You can use a rocket or a sticky bomb. So whenever, once you're in the blue circle, just blow yourself up. And after you do load back into the session, go ahead and just walk into your apartment. Whenever you're here inside your apartment, go ahead and go down to the changing clothes section. Whenever you're here inside the closet, just go ahead and scroll down to your accessories and you're just gonna wanna change one part of your outfit. So just change the gloves or you can change the shoes. But since I'm just gonna go ahead and change the shoes, head to your accessories, scroll down to gloves and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you do equip the gloves that you guys do like with the, with the outfit, it really doesn't matter, but just go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. After you do save the outfit, you can now back up, back out of the closet, go ahead and you can now pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session with the black joggers, you can go ahead and head to the clothing store so we can go ahead and do the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. So for the first outfit, after you do have the black joggers and you are wearing the black joggers, you're gonna wanna go ahead and head to the diamond casino for this outfit. Whenever you do get to the diamond casino, you're gonna wanna go ahead and walk inside, walk over here to the clothing section, head over here to your tops, scroll down to hoodies, which will be on slot nine, go ahead and click on hoodies, and you're gonna look for the mustard bigness waterproof, which is on slot 45. So after you do equip the mustard bigness waterproof, which is gonna cost 20,000 chips, you can then just go ahead, back out of your tops, and that'll be it from the Diamond Casino. So now for the rest of this outfit, we can just head to a normal clothing store. When you do get to the clothing store, you should be wearing the Mustard Bigness Waterproof and the Black Joggers. Whenever you are wearing those two, you can then just go ahead and walk over here to your shoes. Scroll down to Sneakers, which will be on slot 2, and you're going to look for the Bronze Plain High Tops, which is on slot 10. After you do equip the Bronze Plain High Top Sneakers, you can just back out of your shoes, walk over here to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, which will be on slot seven, and you're gonna equip the black armored on slot nine. After you've equipped the black armored gloves, you can now back out of your accessories, walk over here to your hats, scroll down to caps forward, which will be on slot four, and look for the black bigness cap on slot 43. 
After you have bought and equipped the black bigness cap, you can now just back out of your hats. And now for this outfit, we're going to head over here to the mask store. When you have made it to the mask store, just walk over here to the mask, scroll down to ski mask, which will be on slot 19, and equip the black tight ski, which will be on slot 114, which is all the way at the bottom. After you've equipped the black tight ski, your, your hat will come off. So now we're going to head over here to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch and merge the hat with the mask. After you've found a telescope on the pier, I'm going to keep my hat on to save some time because I have so many hats, but you should only be wearing your mask with your outfit. So after you're only wearing your mask with the outfit, you're just going to want to do the telescope glitch. So go and run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character's mask does stay on, but pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to accessories, click on accessories, scroll down to hats, and just scroll through your hats until you find the black bigness cap and your mask may come off. But after you do find the black bigness cap, you can then put away your interaction menu and then just walk away from the telescope and you will see that the mask and hat combine together just like this. So now after you have combined the mask and hat, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to hood, which is on slot 17 and it will say down, click right on the D-pad once and you'll set the hood up just like this. And that's pretty much it for this outfit. Just letting you know if you do get in a car or if you do get on like an oppressor or if you get in a helicopter, your hood will automatically come off. There's no way you can save it for some reason with your hood up. You can save the outfit with your hood up, but every time you get in a vehicle or on a vehicle, your hood will come off for some reason. I don't know why, but this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So whenever you do get to a clothing store and you do get out of a car, all you have to do is just go to your style, go to hood, set your hood up. And then once you do get to the front counter, save the outfit. And every time your hood comes off, you can either automatically set your hood up or you can just go to style, go to your outfits and just re-equip the outfit with your hood up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So after you did save the outfit, we can now just move on to the second outfit. This is going to be the second outfit I'm going to show you how to make with the black joggers. So if you guys don't, don't know how to get the black joggers, I did show you earlier in the video. So go ahead and scroll back to that time if you want to know on how to get the black joggers. But after you do have the black joggers and you do get back to a clothing store, just walk up here to your tops. Scroll down to sports tops, which will be on slot 46. And you're going to look for the corkers wind shirt, which is on slot 37. So after you do equip the sports top, you can then just back out of your tops. Head over here to your shoes. Scroll down to slip-ons, which will be on slot 12, and equip the white canvas slip-ons on slot 9. And after you've equipped the white canvas slip-ons, back out of your shoes, head over here to your accessories, scroll down to gloves on slot 7, and equip the black woolen gloves on slot 58. Once you've equipped the black woolen gloves, that'll be it for the accessories. Back out of your accessories, head over here to your hats, scroll down to canvas hats, which will be on slot 3, and equip the white mod canvas on slot 59. After you have bought and equipped the white mod canvas, you can now back out of your hats. And now to equip the parachute, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to parachute, click on parachute, set your parachute to on, and set your bag to the black combat shoot bag. If you don't have the black combat shoot bag, you will want to go to any gun store on the map. Whenever you are at the gun store, walk up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, look for the black combat shoot bag and go ahead and buy it. After you do buy the black combat shoot bag, you can then back out of the front counter. Your parachute will come off. Pull up your interaction menu again, go to style, go to parachute, set your parachute to on and it should automatically be set to the black combat shoot bag. Now for the rest of this outfit, which will be the mask, we're now going to head over here to the mask store. Once you are at the mask store, just head over here to the mask, scroll down to ski mask, which is on slot 19 and look for the black skull tight ski on slot 43. And after you have equipped the black skull tight ski, your hat will come off. Now you can just back out of the mask store and now we're gonna head over here to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch and merge the hat with the mask. After you have found the telescope on the pier, we're gonna go and save some time because it does take me a while to scroll through my hats because I have so many hats that I did buy for a certain glitch that is very old now. But whenever you do find a telescope and you guys are wearing the mask with your outfit, all you want to do is the telescope glitch. So go and run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character glitches in place, but your character's mask does not come off. So now you can just pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to accessories, click on accessories, and scroll through your hats or scroll down to your hats and scroll through your hats until you find the white 
mod canvas. So whenever you scroll through your hats, your mask will come off. But after you have found the white mod canvas hat, you can then put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and whenever you do walk away from the telescope, you should see that the mask do does merge with the hat, just like this. And this is where your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So now you can just go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want, and after you did save the outfit, we can now just move on to the third outfit. Okay guys, whenever you are back at the clothing store, this will be the third outfit I'm going to show you how to make in today's video. So for this outfit, whenever you are back at the clothing store, just head over here to your tops once again. Scroll down until you find designer hoodies, which will be on slot 37. So click on designer hoodies, and you're going to look for the dark gray pullover hoodie, which is on slot 26. After you do equip this designer hoodie, you can now just back out of your tops, head over here to your pants, Whenever you do get to the pants, scroll down to the bottom, which will be designer sports pants on slot 15. Click on designer sports pants and you're going to look for the gray cuffed sweatpants on slot 79. After you do equip these designer sports pants, you can now just back out of your pants. Walk over here to your accessories and scroll down to gloves. If your character has any gloves on, go ahead and put on no gloves. And now for the earphones, you're going to want to scroll down to slot 11. Click on earphones and equip the white beat off earphones. If you don't have the white beat off earphones, all you have to do is sell any of your supply missions. So either at your nightclub, your CEO office, or I believe your bunker. So any of those three, I believe, or maybe if you guys want to sell any of your uh, cars at your, uh, I believe it is vehicle warehouse. So if you guys want to go ahead and do that, you guys can just also sell vehicles or just any supplies. And then after you do deliver the supplies, you should see in the bottom left hand corner above your map, it should say that you have unlocked the white beat off earphones. So after you've equipped the white beat off earphones, that'll be it for the accessories. So back out of your accessories, head over here to your shoes, scroll down to skate shoes on slot three and equip the gray skate shoes on slot three. And after you did equip the gray skate shoes, back out of your shoes, head over here to your hats, scroll down to designer caps forward, which is on slot 27, and look for the slate flat forwards, which is on slot 25. So whenever you do, you should see that your hood is down. So that your outfit should look like this with the earphones in your hat. And now we're gonna go ahead and pull up the hoodie. So after you've equipped the hat, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, Scroll down to hood, which will be on slot 17. And whenever you're hovering over hood, just hit right on your D-pad once to set up your hood just like this. And you'll see that you are still wearing the earphones, but you just have your hoodie up and you are wearing your hat. So this is where your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So after your outfit looks like this, just walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And after you have saved this outfit, that's pretty much it. So now we can move on to the fourth outfit. This is going to be the final outfit I'm going to show you how to make in today's video. So for this outfit, you're going to want to head over here to your tops once again. Scroll down to designer hoodies, which is going to be right here on slot 37. Click on designer hoodies and look for the white pullover hoodie on slot 24. After you do equip this designer hoodie, you can now just back out of your tops. Walk over here to your pants. Click on jeans, which will be on the first slot. And you're going to look for the flated or the faded blue fitted on slot 50. After you've equipped these jeans, you can now just back out of your pants, walk over here to your accessories, and if your character has any gloves, which will be on slot 7, click on gloves and just put on no gloves, and that's pretty much it for the accessories, so if you're after you put on no gloves, you can now back out of your accessories, walk over here to your shoes, scroll down to slip-ons, which will be on slot 12, and equip the white canvas slip-ons on slot 9, and after you did equip these slip-ons, back out of your shoes, Head over here to your hats, scroll down to Diamond Casino Heist, which is on slot 26, and equip the black backwards cap, which is on slot 31. If you don't have this hat unlocked, then you will have to do the Diamond Casino Heist while you're wearing this hat. And after you after you are wearing, after you did complete that uh, heist, then you can just go back to the clothing store, equip this hat, and after you did equip this hat, back out of the hat section. And now for this outfit, we're going to head over here to the mask store. Once you are at the mask store, just walk over here to the mask, scroll down to ski mask on slot 19, and you're going to equip the white spec ski on slot 35. After you do equip this type of ski mask, you can then just back out of the mask store 
and your hat will come off your character. So now we're going to head over here to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch and merge the hat with the mask. Whenever you have found a telescope on the pier, I'm going to go ahead and keep my hat on just to, just to save some time just because I have so many hats. But you should only be wearing the mask so far with this outfit. So whenever you have found a telescope, just do the telescope glitch. So go and run past the telescope like this, hit right on the d-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place for a second, then it looks towards the telescope just like this. That means your character is glitched in place. Your mask will stay on. So the only reason your mask your mask does stay on is because with the recent update, your mask doesn't disappear anymore, but your mask only stays on your character. But after you're glitched in place on the telescope, you're now going to want to pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to accessories, click on accessories. And now whenever you scroll down to your hats, scroll through your hats until you find the black backwards cap. And whenever you're scrolling through your hats, that's whenever your mask will come off, but don't worry, your mask will come back later. So after you have found the black backwards cap, you can then put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you should see that the mask and hat combine together just like this. So this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So now you can just go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And after you did save the outfit, that's pretty much it for these four outfits that you can make for your male character. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.